Hello, class. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Andres and Jocelyn. Welcome. Welcome back. Hi, good evening. Hi, good evening. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. Okay, teacher. Okay. There we go. We already have William, Genesis, and Lourdes. Good evening. Hi, good evening. Bien, ahí estamos. Diego, he's the one asking for the link. Uh, hi, Jasmine. Uh, David, he's in the class already. Hi. Who else? King Mas. Okay, nobody else. So, hey class, welcome back to this class. Today is Thursday, right? Thursday. So, um, this is class number 11, 12. Let me check. We are about to finish with section, what, unit number two. Vamos a ver. Okay, let's see. Okay, there we go. So, hi class, how was your day? Did you have a good or a bad day? How was it? A good day, teacher. A good day. It was good, yeah. It was good. There we go. In my case, I'm still recovering. Ya más o menos me siento mucho mejor, you know, I'm feeling better today. So, yes, I'm ready for this class. And let me ask you. Just a moment, wow. moment. Don't you worry. What were we discussing yesterday? What was the main topic from yesterday? Who can tell me? Do you still ethics. remember? Ethics. Okay, I know we have been talking about ethics and ethical practices, behavior, and all of that stuff, right? But if you see the topic from yesterday, it was examples. Examples of unethical practices, right? In this case, at work. Examples of unethical practices. 
But, bribing. Mm -hmm. Let me see. Let me show you what we what we have for today. Class number 13. Esta era. So this was the topic. Ayer hablamos de eso. How to promote ethics at work. And we were having some examples about unethical practices, right? We were uh, working in groups, discussing some of the ideas that we had there. And then we were sharing the information with the class. So in today's class, we are going to try to finish with this uh, topic, you know, because we are still missing uh, some grammar topics that we need to cover. And we only have two or three more classes with unit number two. So I know we have a lot of information, you know, we have been learning a lot, but in this case, yes, in this class, we are just going to concentrate on these examples on ethical practices. And as you may see, if you go to your student's book, there you have some links that you need to go over and review, but you know what? I have been reading those articles and I know we can find a good information, right? You can go ahead and review the topics that we have there. But in this opportunity, I know we have a lot of work to do, still pending some details, some topics to cover. So let's start with this exercise today. There are like, let me say two, four, six, eight, eight key terms that we are going to be using in this lesson in today's class. And I really need you to go over this vocabulary, go online, find out about the definition so you can get an idea about what this vocabulary is about, what is the context that we can use this information in. And as you may see, if you go and check your student's book, there they are just asking us to go and find out about four different key terms. But in this case, I am going to ask you to go and look for um, these other ones, that, the ones that I have here. Unethical practice, target, and the other two. The, let me show you. Les muestro the student's book. Give me a second. Why? Because I know we don't have those definitions there. We don't have like that extra vocabulary. But yeah, we really need to find out about that information because we are going to be using those key terms later on in this class. So page number 16, that is the page in which you are going to find this activity. Look, unit number two, we have some videos. If you want to have like extra information or you would really like to know a little bit more about this topic, this is a great chance. So you can go review what we have there. Probably if we still have time, you know, after the activities that we have for today, we can easily go and review the information that we have there. If not, we can do it tomorrow. So four different key terms, definitions that I really need you to go over and find out. Do you still remember this one? Yesterday, we were using this word, this definition. ¿Quién se acuerda? In what context? ¿En qué contexto lo usamos? Deliver of rules. Uh, when we were reviewing the eight tips to... Exactly. I, uh, ethics programs. Ajá. Uh -huh. In the mm, 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 when managers prefer something that's more easily um, accountable in the sense that you can easily see it in numbers, uh -huh, the results, right? The results, numbers, yes. exactly. So, yes, as you may see, this is vocabulary. Probably 
we don't know the definition, but we may have an idea about this. So bias that will be available to be drawn to shareholders and the other two that I really need you and find the definitions. Son estos dos. Look, unethical practice, you may have an idea already. Target, target, severity, and ostracism. ¿Alguna idea qué es ostracism? ¿Qué será eso? ¿De qué viene ostracism? ostracism. Marginación extrema. Ajá. Pero en español nada que ver, ¿verdad? Si lo pensáramos en español. Ostracismo. Yes. Ostracismo, there is, right? There is ostracismo, sí. Exactly, but probably we don't use this term, this key term, eh, that often, right? So casi no se escucha. But you know, in English we have ostracism. So how many definitions are you going to be looking for? ¿Cuántos son? Four teachers. Not really. Eight. Eight. Muy bien. Eight. And as you may know, whenever we're having this vocabulary, we don't have like a specific place so you can go and paste the information, share the information with your classmate. Because if we share the information here in the Zoom chat, at the end of the class, you're not going to have that information, right? So that's why I really need you to go to the platform. This is um, something that we haven't been doing in the previous classes, right? If you go to the platform, esta no es el de ustedes. Let me see. Ustedes son avanzados dos. This is the one. Section number two, there we are going to find this activity. Let me see. Esto de lo de ayer. This is the one. I know, sé que el video no tiene nada que ver, okay? Because we don't have like that extra material in videos, right? But as you may see, if you go and look for the discussion forum here, I really need you to go and paste the definitions that you find. Why? Because if in tomorrow's class or next week we need that information, we know where to find that information, right? So we don't need to be, uh, in this case, looking in any other place or reading in your notebook, right? You can have the information there. So, vamos al discussion forum. Section number two, 2.10. Se, se llama videoconferencia 13, describe example of unethical practices. Ahí, vamos a pegar las definiciones, right? Eight different uh, definitions. Está claro lo que vamos a hacer, clases? Is it clear what we're going to do in this moment? See, number one, Google the information. Number two, go to the platform and then you paste the information there. I know uh, we are going to be working in pairs. So please, at least one can uh, paste the information there. Y si no se dividen, okay? I am going to look for four definition, the key terms, you know, and I'm going to paste the information there. And the other one is going to do the same, right? So we both are going to be working in the same activity. So Teacher, tell me, yes, sorry. I have, I have a question. The answer uh, is uh, in group or individual? In the, in the platform. Okay, it's in groups, you know? For example, mm -hmm. if Doris is working with, uh, digamos que she's working with Genesis, right? So. Doris, you are going to be looking for four specific key terms and Genesis, the rest of them, right? So you are going to be in charge of pasting that information. Los cuatro que me tocaron a mí, I'm going and I'm going to paste the information there. <coughs> Para ver, because uh, in that way, you're going to be like being uh, or sharing the same information, right? No todos vamos a pagar la misma información. 
Si no, okay. vamos a compartir. There we go. Okay. Veamos si salen las parejas. Let me say. Let me check this. Not really, I guess not. David. Ah, pues no. Me va a tocar un grupo de tres. Let me do it again. Ok, David, David. Welcome. Oh no, Jose. Yes, only one group of three. En río me salió. Doris, Genesis, and Jessica. Ya van a ser tres. Y los demás, yes, pairs. So, here we go, class. Ya les envío los key terms that you need to look for en el chat de WhatsApp and also here. Zoom chat. Okay. Let's go over and review. Share the, share the screen, teacher. Let us. Yeah, right. I always forget about it. Thank you so much for reminding me about it. Okay. Um, it's ready. Okay, Thelma and Fredis. Hi, welcome. Hello. Good evening, Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? Um, in my mind, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> a 
Okay, okay. And Freddy? I think I'm good right now. I think I'm good. You know, you know, welcome back to the class. Let me explain what we are doing in this moment, okay? So you okay. can know about the activity. We are working in pairs, well, groups of three. And we are looking for these key terms definition. Look. The ones that we are being requested in the book that are for bias, the little deliverables to be drawn to and shareholders. And also I am asking you to go and look for the definition for unethical practice, target, severity, and ostracism. Son cuatro definiciones extra, right? Y no solo eso, what are you going to do? Vamos a irnos after this. If you have already the definitions, si tienen ya la info, I need you to go to the platform and look for section number two. And look for this activity, activity 2.10, la que se llama videoconferencia 13. Describe examples of unethical practices. You scroll down and you're going to find the discussion forum. Here, you are going to paste the definitions. Okay, so go talk to your classmates and ask them, okay? What are the definitions that I'm going to be looking for? And those ones you're going to be in charge of going and pasting the information there, okay? Okay. There we go, very good job. Hi, Francisco. Vamos a enviar a friends Hi. with- Good evening. Good Sorry evening. No, don't you worry. Welcome back. Freddy's go with Andres and Lourdes, okay? Oh. And Telma go with Kenya and Jocelyn, okay? Okay. Okay, aquí vamos, go please. Okay, hi Francisco, how is it going? Hi, Tisha. How is it going today? You're good? Uh, the true, um, <laughs> uh -huh. uh, hard, very hard. I wish I could be sleeping, you know, <laughs> like that. No, no. Not really, teacher, okay. Not really. Not really. Not really. Uh -huh. Only this, in special this day, I have a lot of work. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. But yeah, Are this, you ready to yeah. be interacted with the class or not really? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. yes. Yeah, because I tried. sometimes, you know, I know you have some extra work to do and you're doing an extra effort. So look, this is activity that we are doing in this moment. As you may see, in your student's book, uh, they are asking us to do this activity, to go over and find out about the definition of these key mm -hmm. terms, right? Tenemos cuatro ahí. Okay. But I really need you to go and look for these other four. Political mm -hmm. practice, y estos cuatro que tenemos ahí, right? So at the end, you're going to be looking for eight different words, definitions. But okay. go with your group and ask them, which are the ones that I'm, I'm going to be looking for? Creo que ya se los repartieron, but you go and ask them how you can help them. Vamos a enviar okay. a Francisco con Erwin and William, ¿ok? Ok. Salas, Salas de go, please. Here we go. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. 
to be to be drowned too. Una expresión. <laughs> El brazo. <laughs> I am searching in Google what is the meaning of the, the liberal. I find this definition I share in the chat. Is the say that Edwin have? Did you say no? Okay, on chat. <clears throat> Sorry, we need to pray. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like the same. Francisco has mm -hmm. uh -huh. another me. definition. You, you can read. Which one? On chat. I share in the chat, Erwin. Mm -hmm. But it's, it is the same as Erwin was saying. Oh. Yes, it is similar. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. But in the next. To be a drum too. To be a drum too. The big one too, I don't know what I mean. Mm. Verá, verá que la, la ficha no pasó, no pasó lista. ¿Mm? No ha pasado lista, ¿verdad? Mm. No, no. No. Mira, no si es así, no se planifica. De B, Brown 2. Mira, ajá. Aquí igual me manda para Italia. Esta onda, todo perdido, me siento. No hay así como definición. Oh, we have it here. I mean, your definition, David, is a little more like uh, out of uh, to, out, of, out of the dictionary, I guess. Hi. No, I don't want to copy all of it. Here. Okay, great. Ah, okay. There we go. And the one definition, though, that's a little bit lacking is this one because I only have like the one sentence in it. Because the main recipient of an action or the aim, let's say like the person plays 
teacher, the word target always is related to another word. Price target, yeah. customer target, uh, market target. Head. And uh, uh, the main or the aim. Exactly. Just look for synonyms, them. Like, yes, what is a target? The, the, Who is a target? Who is considered to be a target? What is a target? Target is something that you are trying to do or to achieve. This is no, target. No, target is not the one you want to achieve. Target is a quien quieres. Exactly. Dirigirte. O sea, por ejemplo, es una, uh, una we, publicitaria. If we are talking about... Who is your target? About, uh -huh. <laughs> we, are talking about, we, we can talk about price, we can talk about market, we can talk about customer, we can talk about the sí, o sea, eh, pero university. Es que, es que, es que target, or... es que target no es, este, no es, digamos, la acción o el resultado. Target es el objetivo a yes. vas a resolver lo que vas a hacer. Uh -huh. Entonces, yes, you, something uh, we're trying. Uh, if you are trying, you you need to define in the in the in the, in the marketing the client mm -hmm. that you are trying yeah, so to you, find. you you pick who is your target. Like if you are this is the, the target the, the customer people, target. If you are addressing people from forties to their sixties, if you are addressing little kids or babies, or are you targeting female public, or are you targeting male public? uh what so your art is the same thing with almost anything really yeah right it uh, applies so so for example like the easy cooking videos is for people like either don't have enough time to cook <laughs> or don't really like cooking and they want something easy and quick to do so target is who's the object who you're going to present whatever it is that you're doing uh, rather than um. Okay. So, uh, how do I put this thing though? <laughs> I guess the definition that you got, yeah, it's okay, it's okay. You will find out why am I asking you to look for this specific definition. So I just give it in like enviar? So yeah. to, to publicate this Okay, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna, so we already have it the all. Okay. There it is, okay. Good. Let me look for it. Hi. Okay. So I'm just gonna move this here. So about bias. Do you have any questions or have any like doubts that you want to clarify about any of the the works that we? Hi guys. Hi. Hi, porque se cae. The teacher is here. No, just let me ask you, did you finish? Mm. Oh. Uh, yes. Questions but recently, Delma think? joined us and we start sharing okay. the activity that we are doing with her too. Great, great job. So just keep on working. If you still need more time, so go. We still have like 10 extra minutes. Okay. Thank you, Miss. Okay. Well, we have we have such an the council about about the years or not. Sorry. Can you repeat? Let me see. Mm -hmm. Let me see. I gonna gonna search it. Vamos a a encontrar los conceptos. Yes, we already find uh, find them. The four of them. You can verify in the chat. I replace them. Mm -hmm. We send the uh, minutes through the chat here in, in the meeting. Okay, but let me ask you, did you look for the other four? 
because remember, of course, the book is asking us to go and look for four definitions, right? But I was asking you, uh, so you can go and find the definition for the other four, los cuatro que tenemos ahí. Let me show you. Uh, the unethical practice. Yes, that's the first one. Um, yes, unethical target, practice, target. Severity and ostracism. Severity and ostracism. Mm -hmm. uh, so we are not finished. <laughs> okay. So go ahead. <laughs> okay. The liberal. Well, I already, I already pasted my the definition for bias, and I see that other people already pasted the definitions for ethics and management and deliverables. Mm. So, do we discuss the meanings now? Are you ready? Yes. Okay, so bias. Uh, bias is the prejudice in favor of or against one thing, person, or group compared with another, usually in a way considered to be unfair. It's the action of supporting or opposing a particular person or thing in an unfair way because of, of allowing personal opinions to influence your judgments. So it's basically when you take sides uh, or you side uh, with one person or another just based on your judgment and not on actual fact. And that can cloud your view of things and then you can make bad decisions uh, when you pick sides, you know, because that, I think that's what it is. It's like saying, you know, I'm biased. Uh, to choose this and not that, you know? What do you think? Um, I pasted the definition on the platform, so you, yes. you can check it. I, 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 I can see. Mm -hmm. So what do you think? Because it's like, um, let me see what could be a good example. Let me look it up. Mm -hmm. hmm. It says here, for example, um, another definition. Uh, says that it is often based on how you were raised. You know, you can be biased towards something because of the beliefs or the um, what you've been taught since you were a kid. And for example, let me see what could be a good example. Ah. You know, this is interesting. It says here, if someone has a bias about women, they can take two different approaches. If they are biased towards women, they might hire only women because they feel they make better employees for some gender related reason. So that's a bias. Like I have seen uh, 
some jobs only will hire uh, women, and like it says in the, this example, because they think that probably women are more um, organized or, you know, <laughs> well, better educated or, or more uh, self-centered than men. And that's why they are biased towards hiring women instead of men. Or some, I have seen that for, uh, for example, if you're looking for, uh, if you're looking to rent uh, an apartment, some people or a room, some people will only rent to women because probably they think that they are less, uh, uh, they are more likely or more unlikely to get in trouble. And some uh, people that rent houses don't want problem and they think that men will be uh, trouble. So that's why they are biased towards only renting to women. So. Yes, what, what I understand. In what are the other unethical practices? Who looking? No, not yet. Mm, no, I, I thought you were looking that one up, or was it Gennady? Mm. It wasn't me. I, I only have bias and shareholders. But which one do you have? Which one did you look for? Unethical practice. We can talk about that one if you have it. Ah, OK. So what did you find about unethical practices? Sorry, girls, I'm, in, I'm calling right now. Oh, don't worry, it's fine. <laughs> so, Doris, which one did you did you search or did you look for an ethical practice? Yes, I'm looking. Okay. And what about ostracism? You were looking for that one too, right? An ethical practice in the business and an practical in the behavior. There are two, two means. Mm -hmm. So I think we, we should focus probably on at the workplace and ethical practices at the workplace because that's mainly what we talk about in the class. Uh -huh. So what are some unethical practices that you can that probably you have experience at your workplace or you have I found heard of an Erica practices means on the third part. Hi guys. I did you finish? Yes, we finished. You did? Did you paste the information in the platform, in the discussion yeah. forum? You did? Let mm -hmm. me check. Vamos a ver. Let me look for your post. Okay. Never mind. I need my glasses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> you know, I sometimes forget that I really need to wear glasses. Where is it? Quiero ver. Ah, okay. Aquí está. Mm -hmm. 
Sí, Lourdes, Freddy, San Andrés, right? Yeah, aquí está. Yes. There we go, there we go. Aquí está la información. Okay, questions about this new vocabulary, the definitions that you were looking for? Um, for example, uh -huh. to be drawn to. To be drawn to, right. Uh, in this context, remember mm -hmm. that we are talking about unethical practices. So to be drawn to, in this case, when someone is exposed to something. Being, uh, exactly. Being forced or being pulled to do an unethical practice, right? So this is the idea that we can have. Okay. Muy bien, so Thanks. vamos a ver, let's go and compare the information with your classmates. It's time to come back. Okay, okay, time to come back. Here we go. Okay, so guys, did you finish with the activity, looking up for the information, the definitions, and going to the platform and pasting that information there? Because I can only see five, one, two, three, five, five posts. Can falta? Who is still missing? Uh, and I had seven group i'm going to do that oh, okay I miss. okay fernando and you were working with madeline verdad yes bien so don't worry vamos a hacer okay class veamos que pusieron what were you looking for definitions unethical practice is the first one let me look for this one veamos que tiene este grupo here we go. What is an unethical practice according to this definition? The king is the grupo. The Galdames. The Galdames. Hey, you know what? I need to check the attendance list. Let's do that before I forget. Uh, I was talking with my mute off. Oh, sorry, teacher. I really? was saying that uh, we, yes, I was explaining that that was my publication. And we put two publications, one Gardin, by Jasmine, Gardin. one by me. Yes, yes really, the same. Really, okay. the, the only one. <laughs> there yeah. is no another. And if there, we need to, <laughs> to <worry>. do something. <laughs> Yo quiero que Galdame, Galdame, es David Samuel. Yes, the same. Busquemos la attendance list. So that is the 23rd. Ok. Así me sale mejor, así lo puedo ver. Ok, Andrés Giovanni y Valdivieso Portillo. Gracias. Muy bien. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Uh, he's listening, but he's in another call because of work. So no, we apologize for that. Sorry. Okay. Dora Elizabeth eh, Flores Mena. Doris.
No. Remember, acuérdense chicos, it is really important for you to say present and at the same time to have your camera on. Nos piden eso para que quede grabado, right? So please, at least say present. So I don't know if Doris is still there. Teacher. Hi. There we go. Muy bien. <laughs> present teacher. Present. Sí. Si no, pues nos toca poner cero. Sí. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. Present teacher. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. I'm here. Genesis del Carmen Hernández Grisuela. Present. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present teacher. Yasmin Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenia Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Yamilet Molina González. Present. Selma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Yanari Cortés Díaz. Bien. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Bien. No sé si ya habían visto cómo se pasa la asistencia, but it's like this. You know, así va todos los días, look. Se lleva contabilizado los minutitos. So. Hasta la clase cancela la ballesta. So as you may know, ahí va minuto por minuto, chicos. Here we go. Ahí está como se toma la asistencia, ¿ok? Vamos bien ahí y todo así, like this. No, you're doing great. Así que vamos muy bien. Francisco, what happened? Vamos a ver. Let's go to the platform. <laughs> Definition. So, David, this is David. David's group. ¿Qué, qué estaba discutiendo? What were you discussing about the definitions that you got? Let me have you reading the definitions. Here we go. Let me show you. I guess not, right? Oh, this is only David. Okay, David, go ahead. Unethical practice, mm -hmm. this is the name, unethical business practice, actions and behavior that are below the set minimum standards or the set goals of conduct can be regarded as unethical business practice, such include widely accepted morally wrong behavior and result in the mistreatment of people in the line of business. Okay, excellent. Okay, target. I know we were discussing about this. Target. Let me look for this group. Credits. What is target? I understand target. Cannot see a definition here. No. Pensé que solo uno del grupo iba a postear, you know. I don't know. Vamos a ver, let me do something. For target, is it there? Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. Like that, in, the, in the post, this uh, one. Uh, we have the concept. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what is, it, what is a target? Well, what I found for target is in a business term, a target is a goal that the company is aiming to reach. Yeah, okay. Keep on reading. For well, target, don't just tell us what we are aiming for. They let us they let us measure the distance by which we fall short and the amount of work we need to do to make it up. To make it up, okay. So great definition. Yes. Remember that a target is in this case in business terms is a goal that the company is aiming to reach. Okay, you will know why I was asking you to look for this definition. Okay, deliverable. No, we are we're still missing this one. Doris. 
what is the definition that you got for this one? For your group? Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, to be a, a round two. Excuse me, can, can you repeat what that again? Is, what is the, the question? Okay, what is the definition? Okay, you know what? Let me show you ah. this one. So you can help me out with the definition. Okay, let's better do this activity in this way. Okay, para que ustedes hablen. Okay, first one, we are still missing this one. Vamos a ver, Doris. Uh -huh. Tell me about the definition. Oh, I don't know. ¿Quién en el grupo de ustedes buscó este? Who was looking for this definition? Uh, Genesis. Okay, Bye. Genesis. Yes. Yeah. Tell me about the definition. So bias, bias. Uh, I'm gonna read it. Uh, yeah. It's the prejudice in favor or of or against one thing, person or group compared with another, usually in a way considered to be unfair. It's the action of supporting or opposing a particular person or thing in an unfair way because of allowing personal opinions to influence your judgment. There we so, go. It's basically when you take sides or when you side uh, with something uh, just based on your beliefs or your judgment or what you were taught as a kid and not based on real facts. And exactly. we were actually discussing a few examples like, uh, for example, when, when there are uh, jobs that will only hire women or they're specifically looking for women or for men because they have a specific belief that the person or the woman or man will be better at that job and so they are biased towards hiring one or another so. excellent example so what will be a good uh, synonym for bias so you can easily remember about the, this definition. Pre yeah? Produce misconception. Ah, okay, okay. So are those key terms similar to each other? Misconception? No, I think okay. bias comes from a misconception, but bias is not the same as the misconception because it's to take sides or to side with something. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Okay, okay, there we go. Let me see. To be drawn to, ¿Quién buscó este? Who was the one in charge looking for this one? Anyone from any group? Uh, we tried, but I, I don't know if I any. Muy bien, okay. We so, found one. Okay, what is the definition? So to be drunk to is more of an idiom, it's a figure of speech. Mm -hmm. And to mm -hmm. express attraction to someone or something, or the action of looking to get someone or something else's attention. Okay. So is it clear, class, or can you repeat that definition again, uh, Jasmine? Uh, sure. So to be drawn to, it's a figure of speech. It's so a forma de, de hablar. ¿Cómo se le llama esto? Es una jerga, digamos. Okay. Uh, so. Oh, I had it here. Where is it? Jergo. Uh, is a for of a figure of a speech is a medium, and I had it here. Jesus, where is it? <laughs> Don't worry, take your time. Can't seem to find it though. Drown two, drown two. Yeah. yeah, it's a way to express attraction to someone. It's a, way to okay. uh -huh. it's a form to express, uh, to attract, right? Attract, yeah, you have. To someone, mm -hmm. 
or the action when you want someone else or something else to, to you. Exactly. So if we are talking about unethical practices, ¿cómo lo aplicaría? If we are drowning someone, somebody to. So, in unethical okay. practices, like a manipulation. ¿Cómo sería? Vaya, quiero que entiendan la definición, tanto en inglés, español. You know, because sometimes in English, eh, if you read the definition, I teach it, but it's not that clear, right? Para que la entendamos y que podamos usarla en el contexto, ¿ok? Yo sé que hay muchas definiciones to be drawn to, but remember, we're talking about the workplace and unethical practices. Si nos referimos a eso, ¿a qué nos referimos? There are two ways, teacher. The, something Vamos is that uh, you can go to, to uh, in Spanish, to acosar. There is something. And the other one, because you are attracted to, to, to someone, you want the, the someone's at attention. Okay. And uh, uh, you can follow them in the social media, follow them in the places that they go. And the other is, if you are the boss, if you are in the, in the authority position, you can give a special favors or give a, a special benefits to that people in order to get their attention to you. Ah, muy bien. So interesting. Ahí está usted. Sí. Excellent definition. Ahora sí está claro. Common values of the people? Common values? Common values. Yes. To be drawn to. Yes. Uh, the similar values of the, of the similar the values. Okay. Yeah. It can apply to it when you can, are, right? It's for example when you feel a certain kinship with somebody because you share certain traits, mm -hmm. or when you share certain hobbies or you value the same things. Um, que son, por ejemplo, um, 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 ¿cómo se dice en español? Kinship. Oh. Ay, ¿Cómo se dice? Yeah. Este, que son, bueno, vaya, bueno, la expresión de decir es que son cortadas de la misma tela, que tienen mismos, okay. mismas cosas parecidas o algo así. But that is a good thing. It's not a unethical practice. It can be a good thing or it can yeah, be... Yeah, exactly. It can be both, it. exactly. No solo es negativo. No, 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 no. Okay? You can be drawn to it. Porque be drawn to is, en español, literalmente, es ser atraído a. Atraído, muy bien. Yes, yes. Te atraen yes. tus hobbies, tus gustos, eh, las cosas que, por ejemplo... Ba, ba, ba. Yes, yes, I, I, I know there is a positive side, there is a negative exactly. side, but we are... But we are talking about unethical practice Exacto. in the context of unethical oh, yeah. practice. Yes. Ser atraído eh, a... Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Yes, because you can get attracted to someone not, not only by sexual or the gender situation, but uh -huh. the many people are attracted to an, an, uh, an artist and player and a soccer player and... Exactly. There we go. It's, it's, this is a good thing. Mm -hmm. there we go. But when, when you want something, something more, there is a problem. Something more the other don't want. Okay. Muy bien. Excellent. Deliverables. Deliverables. Erwin, what did you find? What information? Okay. When you have a project, Okay. And you in the project, you will is the deliverable. Mm -hmm. yeah? mm -hmm. And you give the project for the one customer. For example, if you are engineer and the engineer will build your house when in the house, okay? Mm -hmm. This is a deliver. So that is a deliver. A, a great example yes. of muy bien. Any other example that may apply oh, no. to this one? For example, 
the count, give you the count, for example, the, the tax in your company, you you take the, the, the count, the count, and the count gives you the information about the IVA, for example. Okay. So to pay the tax. This is the, the similar, okay? It's a project. It's a product, product, right? It's a project, it's a product, it's a service. It's a yeah. product, yes, of, when end, that is when part end, of, the, of a process, right? Yes. We have a yes. process, of course, we're going to have a deliverable. Muy bien, deliverable. excellent. Yes. Here we go. Share Teacher. holder. Okay, go ahead. Teacher, can I make a suggestion? Uh, because uh, uh, the person to, to do or to make this material, it will be important to, to give some uh, page, some uh, links, uh, some uh, internet address that uh, because uh, I see that my partners have a very good criteria to find it because in the context of what we are talking about, okay. but not always, not always we, we can have this criteria. Uh -huh, because we, uh, not, we can apply these terms in different contexts, right? So Yes, I yes. Know, well, for know. that reason is mm -hmm. if we get a guide of uh, something that know about what they are talking about because okay. in this in this context deliverable uh, i don't see in the unethical practice okay unless you are talking about the government <laughs> that they promise something and deliver another one okay but right now the... i guess we are just giving the definition right Pero no le yes. hemos aplicado al donetical practice. So, so you may have an idea about the definition because sometimes we're having a reading exercise and there are like these key terms that we really need to understand and know about the definition, right? But that's why I ask you guys, go and paste that information there. Because if David, he wants to go over, review the information after the class or before the class, there you're going to find out those definitions as well, right? Vamos a hacer siempre lo mismo. So you can have like a place in the platform in which you can go and look for that information. Pero, you know, David, I really wish, en serio, desearía <laughs> que su sugerencia fuera pues aceptada, you know? Uh, this is material that we get from Insafor, right? Yes, yes, I know. In my case, I only get the student's manual. Eso es todo lo que recibo, you know? I, I know it. too. That's I know it, that too. Right? Yes, yes. You so, don't have the, the teacher book. Yes, I know. So <laughs> I had to go and look for with another teacher, you know, ask for this extra material, right? So I can have, but you know, es más completo el student's book. Solo para decirles así. So I have the teacher book books but no no hay mucha información so that's why we need to get ready with this topic you and know in the, the, yeah. the other thing is that uh -huh. not all the topics are in the field that you are uh, mm -hmm. studied by this is a different field it is so, a yes. different as you may see uh, we don't go and read all the information that we have there tenemos en el students manual right porque no la leemos because sometimes it doesn't really apply, you know? No tiene nada que ver con el topic. So that's why. No nos estamos quejando en Sephora. We are not, right? <laughs> Solo es una yes, sugerencia. Are... <laughs> yes, yes. Y en español para que no se entienda, right? No, es una sugerencia, pero sí. Eh, siempre hay, creo que material más completo que podemos nosotros, pues, proporcionar. Y que nos dan la oportunidad de también hacerlo. So teachers can bring those articles, those readings, those videos to the class, right? Pero muy bien, muy buena sugerencia. Shareholders, shareholders. ¿A quiénes le llamamos así? Who is a shareholder? En una compañía, of course, in a company or in a workplace. The inversor. Owers. Los? Mm -hmm. Owers. 
the owners, the dueños. Yes. The poor uh, and the poor. Solo a ellos le llamamos shareholders. Hmm. Yeah. No. yeah. That's the person that the capital gains. Ah, okay. The value payment proceeded to me. So the first profits. So shareholders in Spanish. ¿Qué sería en Spanish? Shareholders. Ah, so, as you may see, not only the owner of the place, no, no solo el dueño, no, no solo ellos son los shareholders, right? Accionista. So, in your case, Erwin, en su compañía, do you have or shareholders or no hay shareholders? Only one, only one, two. Only one person. Okay, well. Because it's a, it's a little it's a company. Yeah. But if you, saw, uh, one, if, you, if, you, if you saw the company, like for example, 3M in the United States, uh -huh. okay. it's so big. You uh, have a short form. Uh -huh. And you send the, the action, 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 action. Okay. Is it the name? Action, Talks. action. Okay, okay. So I got it. There we go. Jarvin, pidamos a Jarvin. Next definition, unethical practice. What is this about? Unethical practice. I, I like the definition that uh, uh, the group of, uh, uh, who, who was the group that? Oh, the one. The, let me see if I remember. You, you put in the, in the. The first yes, one? Yes. The, the, the one, yes, yes. Okay, so, aquí tenemos ya la definición. No. no? No, there was another definition. Really? No, <laughs> yes, yes, that one, that one, yes, yes, this one. Okay, an ethical practice test. I guess Harvey is not there. Vamos a ver, Fernando. Yes, what is an unethical practice? Is that? Yeah. An ethical? Yes. Practices. An ethical practices. Uh, we, we found uh uh, concept on ethical practices a term which covers the, the broadest range of activities which people may undertake in their private or public life and are considered wrong by their society or certain members of it. Okay, great. I guess this definition is clear. Target. Target. Yeah, like... It's an objective okay. or on, yeah. on a, a ship or a ship. And a ship. Ah, okay. That yeah. maybe some something you want to reach in a company, or maybe you as a personal goal. That's it. Okay, interesting. Madeline, let's have Madeline participate. Tell me about. Yes. We are still missing this one and this. One. Vamos a ver. Let me listen to. You. The severity, uh, the quality or state of being severe, the condition of being very bad, serious, unpleasant, or harsh, uh, the quality of being very unkind or unpleasant. Yeah, right. And ostracizing, ostracizing, I don't know. Okay. Ostracizing, ostracizing. <laughs> the <Don't> action <laughs> of of intentionally not including someone in a social group or activity. Wow. In español, ¿cómo lo manejaríamos? El ostracism, ostracism. Imaginación total. Uh -huh. Excluir. Yes, exclusion. Exactamente. ¿Ya habían usado esta palabra antes? In English or Spanish? Me, yes, teacher. It's the first time that I... In my case, yes. Yeah. I 
probably I had an idea about this one. Pero nunca le he usado. Believe it. Nunca lo he usado. Because I, I had a little <laughs> two or three lies of you. <laughs> <laughs> For that reason, I, I have read this. Ah, come on, David, you're too young. <laughs> I, ha I have many spirits, teacher. <laughs> no, I, I was working in, in sometimes, I was working with uh, uh, in a place that uh, we go in contact with uh, uh, a certain kind of people that use this type of language. Ah, okay. That's and we need to do document, uh, speech, uh, letters. This was my specialty. Yeah, I will need to use the this uh, cultism. This is special language. Mm, that's why. Okay, very good. Freddy, are you there, Freddy? Yeah. Muy bien. So help me out reading this information. Which one? The All one of them. Uh, yeah. First and second part. <sighs> Types of unethical behavior in the workplace. Unethical behavior at the work comes in many shapes and forms. The simplest way to categorize unethical behavior in the workplace is to consider both oh. the target of the okay. both the target of that unethical behavior as well as its sev how you say that word severity. Uh -huh. Severity. Severity. In the table below we outline examples. Outline examples of the multiple types of unethical behaviors you might face a work based on a target primarily harm society, organizations, other employees self. And on the, uh, how you say, survival. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Class, vamos a ver. La buscamos, la pronunciación correcta es. Vamos a ver, let me show you. Ya sabemos la definición. This one. Once again, class. How do you pronounce it correctly? Severity. Once again. I think. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Sever that is. Severity. Severity. Vamos. Severity. 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 <laughs> Muy Severity. bien. Para que no lo olvidemos. Así la vamos Severity. a ver. Okay. Look the information that we have. ¿Qué dice? Unethical behavior at work comes in many shapes and forms. Claro, ya sabemos eso. But the simple way to categorize an ethical behavior in the workplace is to consider, miren, the target of the unethical behavior as well as, ¿qué más? Dijimos, how do you pronounce Se it? Severity. Ah, muy bien. Ahí está, ¿por qué los puse a buscar eso? The target and its severity. In the table below, I'm going to show you, we outline examples of multiple type of unethical behavior you may face at work based on the target. The target primary. ¿Quién es, son? ¿Quién es mi target en este caso? Society, organization, other employees and self. Or we also can have another category based on the behavior if it is minor, moderate, and severe. Les muestro ahorita. Let me show you. Ahí está. Look. Here we have the examples, okay? Based on the target, basados en el target, right? What do we have here? Four different targets. Look, society, organization, other employees and self. Okay, 
Ok, let's read the information. ¿Cómo clasificamos en este caso las unethical practices? ¿Basados en qué? Based on what? According who to this is, information. Who is receiving the, exactly. the unethical practices? The target and? The severity of it? The severity. There we go. The severity. The, yeah, on, like on the scale of 1 to 10, how bad is it? Exactly. That's it. That's it. Let's have the first example. Based on society. Telma. Read the information, please. The first information? Yes, yes. Target of the unetica behavior. Mm -hmm. About society. Yes, I will. Okay, it's uh, misleading communication. It's less severity. It's fraudulent behavior or anti competitive activity. activity. Mm -hmm. Second one. Vamos a ver. Organization. Darius. Read the examples and the information. Go. Organization. Production device with withdrawal, knowledge hiring, and several is a property device and sabotage. I don't know sab sabotage, sabotage. Mm -hmm. Okay, give me a second. Just keep on, keep on reading. Just give me a second, class. Okay. Okay. My computer is about to die. Oh, okay. Uh, Doris, did you finish? Yes. Okay. William, other employees. Other employees, political deviance, mm -hmm. ostracism, interpersonal deviance, aggression, bullying, moving, abusive leadership. Okay, those are the examples, right? And the last information, Madeline. And uh, self alcohol and drug use. Use safe behavior, alcohol and drug abuse. Okay, so based on the target, you're going to find these examples of unethical behavior, look. And also you are going to find this also, this information. In this way, we are going to read this information. Okay. As you may see, the main topic that we are going to have is about some extra examples about unethical practices at the workplace. This is a reading that we are going to have. I know we are not going to finish with this activity today because we have some, um, some definitions. No, ya estuvieron esto. Let me see. Let me show you the reading that we're going to have. Some important information that we're going to be reading in today's class. Look. As you may see, here we are going to find the type of unethical behavior in the workplace. We already had this information. And as you may see, it says, before, Adopting this categorization of unethical behavior, it is important to keep in mind three core aspects. Can you zoom the paste teacher? Sorry for the interruption. Not to worry. I'm sorry. Let me see how. And you only see a uh, little group of ants. <laughs> yeah, right. I start. How about now? It's better. Maybe. Okay, aquí tenemos the three aspects, 
go ahead and review the information with your classmate. And let me show you, we are just going to be reading the information that we have here from table number one, that is like the examples that we were reading about. And after that, I just need you to go and work in pairs. A few may see, we have different examples. And I really like this information, right? Because for example, if we are talking about this one, this um, example, misleading communications, there you're going to find some extra information and some specific examples, right? About this unethical practice. So you can have like a clear idea about it. how many examples am I going to find here? I guess we have 15 different examples, right? So that's why I'm telling you, we are not going to finish with this information today. So in pairs, you're going to read this information and I'm going to be assigning two different examples. So you can go over this information, review what we have here, the examples that we have here. And after that, I really need you to present this information in a clear way so your classmates can have the idea about these examples as well, okay? Grupo uno, group number one. Vamos a trabajar con la number one and number two. Vamos a agarrarlas en pareja, okay? So it means if you are working group number one, you're going to be working with the first two examples. This one and fraudulent behavior and so on. Yes, okay, if you are in group number two, go and look for the example number three and number four. If you are in group number three, what are you going to be looking for? The specific information for number five and number six and so on, okay? Si está claro, que vamos a hacer? O cuáles examples you're gonna be reading? Yes, teacher. So, vamos a trabajar en P. David, go to room number three. Okay, let me one second. Hmm. Get over there. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, I'm gonna be sending this link so you can go and review the information that we have there. In today's class, remember, you're just going to review the information and be ready to present tomorrow, not today.
Okay. 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 Did you find the ones that you're gonna be reading about? Ah, uh, well, I I think that we are waiting for the information. <laughs> Oh, no. Yes, right, but remember, vamos a leer eh, solo dos de los ejemplos de ahí, okay? So let me show you which are the ones that you're going to be reading about. No tenemos la información. But, uh -huh. could you please share the link? I did, I did it already. No. Chat. No. Yes, really. no. No. In the chat de, Zoom. de, de Zoom. Zoom. Yeah. No, no está. Yeah. The Zoom, the Zoom. Vaya, pues. Yeah. Eh, me send you there. Se los envío ya también. <laughs> es que en el chat de Zoom no se puede ver. No cuando, se ver. Va, cuando se va el Bacon. Really? Sí, no hay que ah, sí, sí, eso es cierto. Ok, ok. Ahorita se los comparto. Gracias por hacérmelo saber. I didn't know about it. Y nadie me dice, come on. Yo vengo y les pregunto, nobody tell me about this. <laughs> come on, stop. ¿Qué es eso? ¿Cuántos mensajitos, chicos? 47. Párenle. Stop it. Don't do that, class. Si no, se va a perder el link. Oh, ok, sí. ok. Who's doing that, guys? Let's do this. We was waiting for the for the document okay, teacher. Okay. Ya le va a caer regaño a algunos aquí. Esperemos que vengan los demás. Class. Vale, déjenme hablar en español ahorita. Let me talk to you in this way. Okay. Let's wait for your classmates. I guess, ahí estamos ya, todos estamos de regreso. Class. Ok, número uno, sí, vamos a dejar esto claro, ok. El chat que tenemos en WhatsApp no es cualquier chat, ok. Es un chat que nos sirve para comunicarnos con aspectos del grupo, de la clase. Ok, número dos es un chat que es auditado por Insafor para ver cómo nos comunicamos, qué información compartimos con los estudiantes. Ok, número tres, la indicación de la clase fue de esto, les estoy enviando el, el enlace. Algo que sí, me disculpo, sí envié el enlace, pero al chat de Zoom. Ok. Me estaban diciendo que una vez ustedes se meten a los breakup rooms, no son capaces de ver el chat. Ok, eso sí, fue mi error. Pero sí pediría que lo que acaba de suceder ahorita en el chat no vuelva a suceder. ¿Está claro? ¿Sí? ¿Cuántos mensajitos fueron en un ratito? ¿Quién me puede decir? Freddy, ¿cuántos fueron? 
I don't know. I don't know, right? Más de 47 me encontré un ratito. Class. ¿Qué tenían que haber hecho si no encontraban información? Number one. Hay un botón en los grupos que dice, no sé si les aparece en español o en inglés a usted. Solicitar ayuda. Help. Yes. Ask for help, right? Alguien me dijo, ask for help. Nadie, nobody. Recuerden, cuando yo estoy en la clase, yo no voy a estar pendiente del teléfono. No puedo estar pendiente del chat de WhatsApp, a menos que yo les vaya a compartir alguna información por WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Si no, no estoy pendiente de mi teléfono. Hasta que voy y digo, ok, voy a compartir el enlace por allá. Veo la cantidad excesiva de mensajitos. Así que sí, por favor, eh, no solo Insafor, audita ese chat. También está el personal de la academia que está pendiente de apoyarles y ayudarles en caso que ustedes tengan alguna consulta de la plataforma o del contenido que estamos desarrollando. ¿Sí? Así que limitémonos a utilizarlo para lo que es, okay, lo que se nos ha proporcionado. Is it clear? Todo así, como niños regañados. Yes. No, claro. It is. Creo que a veces es importante recordar ciertas eh, reglas de la clase, ciertas normas, ¿ok? Para que podamos sentirnos cómodos todos, que nadie se vaya a sentir como, ok, me voy a salir de ese chat porque ya no quiero estar acá por lo que compartí, ¿sí? Sino que sea de utilidad. Les motivo también. Que si hay algún contenido que tenga que ver con inglés en general, cualquier video de gramática, cualquier video del contenido que hemos estado viendo, compártanlo. Así, no solo tenemos las dos horas de clase, sino que también tenemos algún tiempo extra, pero quiero leer algún contenido de inglés, voy a mi grupo y reviso esa información. ¿Ok? Yes. Yo pienso que es importante, teacher, porque, porque, o sea, de pronto uno le pierde el interés al grupo. Oh, okay. Sí, porque uno está, no, no va a, con el perdón y el respeto de todos mis compañeros, pero. No, creo que es importante tomarnos ahorita ese tiempo. Vamos sí, sí, yo, yo creo que es, es, se, se puede en otras instancias. De jugar, porque siempre tenemos que tener el corazón de niño, la idea de jugar es importante. Pero de pronto, eh, mi teléfono de Poor People, ¿verdad? 32 gigas. 32 gigas ya con 20 memes, ya está saturado. Ya. Entonces, ya no puedo recibir más mensajes. Entonces, eh, eh, es importante saber... Claro donde cada cosa en su lugar es un concepto de an ethical practice. <risa> Poniéndolo en práctica. Hacer, no, no, really. hacer cada cosa en su lugar eh, está bien, está bien el, el concepto de jugar, está bien, excelente, mantener ese ánimo que nos caracteriza a los salvadoreños, ¿verdad? Yes. Ser siempre positivos a pesar de la adversidad, animarnos en todo momento, en toda circunstancia. Pero... De pronto le, le, le perdemos el interés al, al, y, y puede ser alguna información importante, pero uh -huh. como nos parece que puede ser más de lo mismo, entonces ya no, ya no lo abrimos, ya no, eh, ya hay una clase, al llegar una información que, que se necesita conocer. Entonces, eh, quizás sí vale la pena que cada uno de nosotros reflexione y agarre lo que le corresponde, ¿verdad? Exacto, exacto. Y entonces, este... Estas cosas nos ayudan a, 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 a madurar, a crecer, a apoyarnos, porque el objetivo es ese, que todos nos apoyemos. Somos un grupo, un equipo, que seamos de, de apoyo para los demás Exacto. y que tratemos de impulsarnos unos a otros. Sí, no crean, hasta hoy ha sido un grupo muy bonito, la verdad, muy bonito. Eh, la participación que hemos tenido es muy activa. En todas las actividades, right y eso es lo que buscamos, que no se pierda esa forma de que ustedes tienen de participar, que es buena. Y, como les digo, esto es en general, ¿ok? I'm not being mean or rude to anyone in specific. Vamos a, denme un momentito, voy a 
dar la información clara nuevamente porque les dije, we are not going to present this information today because we don't have, uh, ¿cuánto tiempo tenemos? Ok, 12 minutos, imagine. So, yes, I'm going to do this. Se los presento otra vez. So, vamos otra vez, here we go. Eh, as you may see, estamos trabajando en parejas, right? Or group shop three. Y le dije, we have seven, no, how many? ¿Cuántos rooms? One, two, three, four, five, Sala 4 y sala 5, no hay nadie. Ok, so let me. Ok. Sala 1, Jasmine, Kenya, en Madre. Ok, remember about this. Sala, room number 2, Erwin, en Lourdes. And then we have room number 3, David, en Telma. Right? Yes, teacher. And then I have room number six, pero la voy a convertir en sala cuatro, ok grupo cuatro sería Fernando Harvey en Jessica Yanal group number five, Diego William en Jocelyn acuérdense de eso, number six Genesis en Kenia en number seven Andrés, Doris en Francisco ¿estamos claros ahí? Yes, teacher. Bien. As you may see, I told you that we have 15 different examples. 15. So it means that we're going to be reading two different examples. El grupo uno va a leer el número uno y número dos. These are the ones. So please, tomemos nota. Say, or write the information down. Yes, leading communications and fraudulent behavior. That's it. Group number two. Anti-competitive activity and production divines. Aquí está. O solo buscan de dos en dos y saben qué grupo les tocó. Si no, yo me tomo el tiempo ahorita y se los envío exactamente lo que tienen que hacer. So don't worry. Deme en ese momentito, 10 minutos, so I can finish with this information and I can send uh, this picture, the information to the group. Vamos a ver. Group number three. Here we go. Okay. Group four. Okay, I'm about to finish. Okay, I'm ready to send this information. Okay. 
here we go. Okay, remember, tomorrow we are going to be reading about this information and at the same time, we are going to be ready to present this information after reading, okay? Let me see. Did you get the picture? Oh, the last one, group number seven. I forgot to write number seven. Did you get the picture or not? Yeah. Yes. Ahí estamos. Les repito los grupos. Yes. Bueno, vamos a chequear entonces the attendance list in this moment. So we can. And I'm gonna be sending the same, a screenshot de los grupos, so you can remember about this information as well. Here we go. And can you send the link teacher, please? Yes, I will. Let me see. Just give me a moment. Okay, I got it. Okay. Okay, and the link as well. Okay, there we go. I just had all the info class, so we can be ready in, uh, to start with this conversation tomorrow. Okay, no tenemos más tiempo. Vamos a ver. There you have the group. Ahí están quienes están en cada group. So we can remember about that information tomorrow. Let me check the attendance list. Let me see. Aquí vamos. Andrés Giovanni Valdivieso Portillo. Present. Muy bien. David Samuel Galdames Monterrosa. Present teacher. Diego Alejandro Caballero López. Present teacher. Dora Elizabeth Flores Méndez. Present. Okay. Erwin Lagos Andrade. Present teacher. Fernando Ernesto Cosme Morales. Present. Francisco Amadeo Villacorta Chávez. I'm here, teacher. Okay. Freddy Vladimir Cortés López. Okay. Génesis del Carmen Hernández Virzuela. Present. Harvin Isaac Guevara Miranda. Present. Jasmine Marisol Escobar Flores. Present. Kenya Esmeralda Galvez Ruiz. Present. Lourdes Montserrat Hernández Velázquez. Present. Madeline Jamilet Molina González. Present. Selma Clotilde Peña Martínez. Present. William Alexander Ramírez Flores. Present. Jessica Janari Cortez Diaz. I'm here. And Jocelyn Imelda Rivas Abarca. Present. Okay, Lourdes. Can you stay for a while today after the class? Sure. Sí. Creo que sí. Vamos con Lourdes. Yes, please. So, vamos a ver. So, class questions about the topics that we were discussing today. 
Any other comment that you may have? Not really, though. Not really. I want to know something. Yes. I. What's the due date or until what date do, do we have to complete the midterm exam? Okay, let me check. I haven't done it. Okay. When is the last day? Vamos a ver, midterm exam. Um, probably we are going to be finishing with unit number two. Nos toca el in class 15. Hoy fue la class 13. Tomorrow on Monday. Monday is going to be the last class for uh, unit number two. So it means that, yeah, until that day. Tuesday. Okay. Marte, chicos, Tuesday. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. Great. Thank, Thank you. Great. You're welcome. So, any other question? If not, we're going to stop the class here. Okay. Good night, teacher. Good night. 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 Okay. Hi, Lourdes. Hi, teacher. ¿Cómo estamos, Lourdes? Yeah. <laughs> Bien, dice. Okay. Sí. Este, you know, I always ask, I, as you may know, right? So one of you can stay after the class because I really want to know if there is something you want me to reinforce or, I don't know, comments about the activities, material, or the class. Algo en específico, algún skill que necesitemos reforzar con la ordens. Let me listen to you. In English or Spanish? No importa. La verdad, ya, esto ya, ya es después de la clase. No hay problema. Uh, me dice que de los temas siento que está bien. Y... Y si siento que se da, se, se da un, un, un buen método, solo a mí se me dificulta más que todo el, el escuchar a veces sí. y bueno, también el hablar, <ríe> se, se me van las palabras okay. y a veces que sí no les entiendo algunos, pero o sea, los temas creo que sí, sí van muy bien, ¿no? pero ahora esta semana casi no me ha visto gramática. ¿eh? Gramática, eh, en el caso sí, es que ¿cuántos módulos ha llevado Lourdes con inglés para el primero. trabajo? Ah, por esto. Es el primer módulo con inglés para el trabajo. Sí. Inglés para el trabajo e inglés para todos son dos programas que ofrece Insafor. Uh -huh. Nos vamos a inglés para todos, son clases más cortas, una hora. Eh, en cuatro semanas se finaliza el módulo y ahí sí, es bien basado en gramática. Sí, uh -huh, yeah. un poco vocabulario y gramática, pero uh -huh. inglés para todos sí es basado más que todo en ese tipo de temática, cosas que podemos aplicar en el lugar de trabajo. Por eso uh -huh. es que hasta hoy en unidad 1 solo hubo un tema, dos temas gramaticales, digamos. Es bien corto lo gramático que podamos obtener. Más que todo se basa en conversación, que ustedes puedan identificar. Eh, por sí mismo la información y luego aplicarla al lugar de trabajo. Es por eso que cada clase, y quizás si se lo voy a comentar para los que son nuevos, lo voy a hacer mañana tal vez, son tres fases que tenemos en la clase. Número uno, que es como la introducción, presentamos el tema, presentamos eh, la actividad que vamos a hacer. ¿okay? Número dos, mm. se van ustedes y trabajan en grupos. Ustedes mismos hacen eh, o son constructores de su conocimiento, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Le llamamos como la tarea. Van, revisan información, you look for definitions, como lo hicimos ahora, y se les puede presentar un, una lectura o material extra de apoyo. Y luego presentamos el resultado a la clase, que es donde ustedes aplican. Ya vi esta información, la leí y ahora puedo comentar. Porque de esa manera ustedes mismos están como construyendo su información. No solo viene el teacher 
y les dice, si no, es más fácil recordar si nosotros vivenciamos eh, de primera mano, eh, en este caso, el tema, ¿ok? Uh -huh. Ética en el trabajo. Son extensos, podemos pasar hasta una semana y media hablando de ética en este caso, porque es el tema principal de la unidad número dos. Entonces, a veces parece ser bien repetitivo. Ok, otra vez de ética, otra vez de ética. Y otra vez en una clase hablamos de, eh, por ejemplo, hace dos clases hablamos de unethical practices. Luego ayer cambiamos un poquito de tema y ahora tenemos que retomar el tema. Así va un poquito inglés por el trabajo. Ok, pero lo que buscamos es que sea más con, como conversación. Más que todo en el nivel que ustedes están, avanzado número dos, sí es cierto. Hay algunos compañeros que les cuesta expresarse. Tienen trabajo arduo a veces en expresar lo que piensan o en la pronunciación. Pero por eso es que nos quedamos uno por uno. He escuchado a Lourdes, Lourdes tiene muy buena pronunciación. La expresión de ideas es muy fácil, muy fácil para expresarse. Y eso es bueno, nos está diciendo que sí, hay un nivel bastante avanzado. Pero eh, sí, por eso les digo, cualquier comentario de la plataforma, eh, algo que identifiquen en, en la plataforma que está incorrecto, siempre díganos para arreglarlo. Eh, cualquier otra dificultad, que, en serio, qué que, que pena ahora, qué pena en serio tener que haber hecho eso, me sentí como no debería. Ay, sí me imagino. No debería, eh, ya, yeah, es primer grupo con el que me pasa. Primero. Sí, eso, yeah. eso no te, yo creo que, o sea, como, creo que supongo que se conocen todos, ¿verdad? Sí, porque los demás. Han de otros. Ex, yo creo que sí, se conocen todos, sí, porque incluso estuve revisando el grupo anterior, el avanzado número uno, las clases de ellos, y sí, eh, tenemos solo como tres o cuatro nuevos en este grupo. So, sí se conocen muy bien, han venido juntos todos, right? Uh -huh. Es por eso se conocen. Y, y sí, y creo que lo noté desde el inicio. Eh, yo dije, ok, se va a controlar porque sí eh, se comparte bastante contenido que no tiene nada que ver con la clase. Lo dejé, ok, háganlo, no hay problema. Pero luego ya fue como más repetitivo, más repetitivo, más constante. Y ok, incluso no podía identificar quién era. Hasta uh -huh. que ahorita fui a revisar el apellido y yo, ah, ok, I know who he is. Uh -huh. No era la idea, en serio, regañar. No me gusta hacerlo. No, ¿por qué? Porque uno, somos adultos, ya son adultos y no está, sí. no, no está bien visto que, que, que se le llame la atención. Ok, no. Pero sí, esta vez creo que fue algo excesivo. ¿verdad? A mí, bueno, yo lo sentí así. Fue como sí. impactante. ¿Qué? O sea, no, no era creo que la forma de, de haberlo hecho. Así que las disculpas, en serio, las disculpas por, por esta situación, Lourdes. Uh -huh. eh, esperemos de que sí se corrija. Creería que sí se va a hacer. Ya lo noté que sí se, se hizo. Pero sí, sí, no es la idea del chat. Porque sí es uh -huh. auditado. Y entonces ese es el problema. ¿Qué pasó ahí? Van a decir por qué que no estaban en clases, sí, era hora de clases, entonces sí. o sea, puede generar algún problema, no solo con, con la clase, ¿verdad? No es por mí, no es por el tutor para nada, sino con el estudiante, porque van a decir entonces, este alumno no estaba en la clase, revisan asistencia, sí, estaba en la clase, entonces, uh -huh. ¿qué pasó? Uh -huh. Eso, así que la disculpa de eh, casa ahí. Yeah. Entonces, digamos, si algo no, no me sale bien en la plataforma, por ahí debería de reportarla. O a sí. usted, aparte. Ambas cosas son eh, permitidas, ¿ok? Si se fijan, yo soy la que les comparto eh, a veces el material. Por ejemplo, ahorita les compartí los grupos, eh, el enlace, lo que vamos a estar trabajando mañana. Ese es mi número. Escríbame oh, cualquier okay. cosa. O se reporta también por ahí porque eh, no solo somos nosotros como estudiantes y yo como maestra quienes estamos en el chat, sino que también uh -huh. tenemos a tres personas que nos ayudan de parte de Inglés Corporativo y quienes están chequeando constantemente el chat para ver si hay alguna forma en que podamos ayudar. 
Así que a cualquier error en la plataforma, identificamos varios de la sección número 2. Uh -huh. Creo que ya se corrigieron. Así que se puede hacer por ahí también. Y de igual manera, eh, cualquier material que necesiten. Por ejemplo, todo lo que presentamos en la clase, de igual manera ahí se puede solicitar o lo puedo compartir por ahí también. ¿Ok? Bueno, está bien. So, eh, algo en específico que necesitemos reforzar, Lucas. No sé, speaking, teacher, me cuesta aprender vocabulario, la gramática o algo que necesitemos. Fíjense que a mí me cuesta un tema, o sea, a veces, por ejemplo, las preposiciones, siempre se me olvida, como cuando usar at, el in, el on, todo eso. Ok, eh, las preposiciones, esas son preposiciones de tiempo. De tiempo. Uh -huh. De ahí, quizás, o sea, bueno, en la participación, a mí se me hace participar, solo que a veces sí, como que, a veces hablando al mismo tiempo y se interrumpe, entonces bueno, sé que se traba, como que no sabe si seguir o no. Entonces, pero, o sea, si está mal, dije, yo, yo estoy ahí, pues. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá, a veces no me ofrezco tanto por eso, porque a veces como que el dos al mismo tiempo, <ríe> algo así. No, al pero, contrario. Eh, igual recibí un comentario que teacher, eh, hay algunos que dicen que no los hace participar, pero la idea sería al contrario, todos ofrecerse a participar, no uh -huh. ser yo quien vaya y elija, se siente como forzado a veces, uh -huh. eh, así como, ok, lo orders, are you there? Porque a veces no sé, ok, es fácil cuando tenemos las cámaras activas, sé que están ahí, pero, uh -huh. por ejemplo, pido que lean, silencio total, y yo, ok, significa que no están ahí o no están siguiendo el hilo de la clase. Por eso es que me toca pedir volunteers, pero no hay problema. Creo ah, que... Sí, es otra lo... podría decir que con, que con las reacciones, con la manita o algo así. Uh -huh. Los voluntarios. Uh -huh. Pero pasa lo mismo, solo los mismos se ofrecen. Solo hay cierto grupito de estudiantes, creo que ya se notó, que les encanta hablar. Ah, no tienen sí. pena, yo no tengo pena de participar <ríe> y hablar. Y a veces por eso también busco seleccionar de mi parte quiénes van a participar para que hablen que por lo menos en las dos horas participen unas dos veces ¿okay? uh -huh. y por eso es que hacemos los grupos también porque son grupos reducidos y ahí sí tienen que hablar tienen sí, que es, yo siento que ahí sí es un poco más fácil es más fácil exactamente es más fácil así cuando ya venimos y tengo toda la clase y eso que es un grupo pequeño uh -huh. eh, porque hay grupos hasta de 30 incluso Ahí ¿Qué? cuesta mucho más. Aquí son grupos pequeños, pero también por eso lo hago, lo de los grupos, porque ahí tienen que interactuar. No hay otra forma de comunicarse más que interactuando. Sí. Y hagamos eso. Lo orden siempre que estén en un grupo y ve que no, que alguien no quiere participar o le da miedo participar, motivemos a los compañeros. No uh -huh. todos creo que somos iguales o no nos da pena hablar, creería. Algunos si no te pena hablar o comunicarnos o por temor, me, no sé, mi pronunciación puede ser mala o no, no sé. Todos tenemos creo que algún aspecto, ¿verdad? Que, que no da miedo. Pero sí, motivémonos entre compañeros también a poder participar. ¿Ok? Sí, Seamos, sí. Ajá. Y igual, la participación, si yo quiero participar, hagámoslo, hagámoslo. Que esta es la oportunidad. No sé si... Eh, ¿Usted tiene oportunidad de practicar su inglés en algún lugar más, en el trabajo, en la casa? He eh, hablado casi no. Casi en, no. El, en el trabajo sí es bastante inglés, pero escrito. Ah, ok, ok. Ajá. Por eso sí, sí también quizás como reforzar la escritura también, porque sí, a veces, yo uso el traductor a veces, porque no, sí, sí, no me sí. hace sentido. Eh. Pero sí. Más que ah. todo, el traductor para la pronunciación. Siento que es bien útil. Es bien útil saber cómo sí. pronunciar algunas cosas y que se nos olvidan. Y la escritura. Sí creería que por la modalidad, tal vez la escritura va a ser bien difícil como revisarla. Porque sí. a menos que les pida que tomen eh, foto de lo que están haciendo, pues sería bien útil. Pero sí, más que todo es, se basa en eso, buscar información discusión, tema y presentar para escucharlos hablar, porque uh -huh. aparte de ser este tipo de temas, tenemos que, bueno, necesitamos o nuestra idea es que 
se mantenga el nivel avanzado. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Así que es por eso, pero ahí estamos, Lourdes, cualquier cosa, pues ahí está la clase, ¿ok? Y gracias por siempre estar activa, participando, por, eh, bueno, se le pide participar también, pues estar ahí siempre. Cualquier cosa, nos quedamos después de la clase, cualquier comentario, también ahí estamos, ¿ok? ¿No? Ay, mire, eh, con la de mañana, uh, lo que vamos a presentar son ejemplos. Sí, más que todo es leer la información, están bien específicos los ejemplos, pero eso lo vamos a trabajar ajá, hasta mañana, no, no se preocupen, hasta mañana no, vamos sí. a trabajar en eso, ¿ok? Para que no vayan a tener esa lectura antes o se vayan uh -huh. a desvelar haciéndolo, no, 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 don't worry. It's oh. until tomorrow, ¿ok? We're going to be okay. doing that activity tomorrow, yeah. So, okay. Ahí estamos, gracias, Lourdes, por quedarse un ratito y uh -huh. nos vemos mañana, ¿ok? Ok, buenas noches. Ok, bye bye.